Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Desperate Measures. Less desperate Boys. and intense than the real world, somehow. Um, somehow. A little bit less. Somehow. <laughs> it's, it got a little chill. A little bit chill. Yeah, it's we not really... To, you got seven yeah, we don't months have to pay run for seven months. That's dope. Yeah. That's effectively what we're doing. Now it's just... rent to this goddamn dragon bitch. Paying rent to a dragon? How <laughs> terrible. Now it's just regular measures. So, um... What yeah. are you guys gonna do? Measures. We're gonna take some desperate measures still. I think we're gonna go find the lady who is the mushroom lady. You're gonna go find the mushroom huntress. Yes. Yes, excellent. Mushroom lady. It's a great title. Mm -hmm. It, it sounds like she's. Song or something. Sounds, sounds mm -hmm. like she's trying to deny the facts that she's a mushroom hunter. Mm -hmm. right, um, she fucking so digs it. Perfect, her though. I like shrooms. that music. A little too peaceful, right? Oh, did I? Oh, I can't hear the. That's weird. Why. Can't hear this. Okay. Have you not heard our background sounds this whole time? No. It's in Discord. No, I think I did, and then at some point something went wrong. Uh. I wonder when your so cam cycled. End, I'm sure. Yeah, something happened. Something weird happened. I'm not really sure. Let me rejoin. Let's see. Looks like there is. Oh, there we go. Output. Cool. We're good. Sorry. Okay. Got it. Yeah. We're Excellent. Good. Sorry. All right. So, uh, you are looking around for the monstrum huntress. Give me uh, Ebner. Give me a charisma check to find her. You're the only one that can do it, since you're the only one that speaks and can ask people around. And you're. Oh God damn it! All right. So you find her. Oh. But by the time you find her, she's already left. Like, you're walking around town, you're looking for her. By the time you find someone that's seen her, they're like, ah, oh, she went into the woods an hour ago, man. She got up bright and early, left as soon as the sun rose. Does all the time. Um, we can catch up to her, right? Oh. Yeah, let's go. All right. I mean, it's just the woods, she's out brother. of sight by now, right? How are you going to find her? Well, do you know where she goes to Mushroom Farm? The guard looks at you blankly. No. I would have which, to be with her. Okay, which direction did she go? Oh, no, not again. Southeast. <laughs> That's to the woods. It. We're good. All right, I fine. You, you go tracker. ahead and wander around in the southeast all you want, buddy. Give me my weapons. They, they hand you your weapons as you leave town. I will look to Jeb, whisper to him, Jeb, I need you to track her. All right. She's an hour out. Let's see if Jeb can do it. He's actually a good tracker, so he probably can. Let's I'm about to roll see. one here. He gave me the... Oh, oh no, I, I guess I rolled a... Or I'll roll a 19. 19. Wow. Um, Got a one in it. Plus two for the terrain you're walking through. Yeah, I rolled a... Um, I rolled a natural 19 plus 12. Uh, yeah, natural 19 plus 12. So any other modifiers, yeah. we find her. Well, it's not raining, snowing, or sleeting. It's not moonlight or starlight. And she's not trying to hide her trail. So you find it. Um, you have to dig around the in the other trails, the other tracks here for a while, because a lot of people leave. But as you head south, East, you do pick up a trail that looks like it was made by one medium-sized person, like a smallish-sized human, which would fit with this woman's height and weight. Um, and it does head by itself, made within the last hour or two, towards the woods. And so off you go, the whole party on this bright and beautiful day into the Dalag Woods. Woods here are moderately thick. Uh, there's some underbrush between them as well. But other than that, it's sort of a, a regular, peaceful, woodsy woods. Uh, maybe distance in the woods is somewhere between 50 feet and 150 feet, just because of the, the amount of underbrush and uh, thickness of the woods. Uh, and do follow her trail. Excellent. 
Good. Can Good I deal. can I get a per a separate perception check from the tracker? Yeah. Great. So you are following her through the woods until you spot her. She is stopped near a creek, uh, bending down and washing her hands in the water. There is a small wooden makeshift wooden bridge next to her that crosses the creek, and uh, not much else. Yep, I'll see her in Mr. Ebner. There she's here. All right, let's go find her. No, I mean, she's right there. I did find her. You have found her, but she has not oh. seen you yet. Uh, I'll call out in her language. Hey, mushroom lady. Uh, she <laughs> jumps and whirls around with a start, and you see, like, she whips out a small knife from somewhere until her eyes settle on you, and she sort of relaxes. Oh, I thought you were killers. You run into killers often? I don't run into anyone out here. Except goblins, right? Right, no people. Goblins are somebody's, but alas, oh we're here God. to take care of your goblin problem. <laughs> if you mind taking us to him. Oh, right. The goblin problem. Yep. Well, they're this way, I guess. I wasn't mentally prepared to do that today, but okay. They're, um, they're this way. And she points. Uh, okay. As she, I guess we'll start to follow her. Mm -hmm. And when she turns around, I'd like to cast Detect Evil on her. <laughs> you can cast Detect Evil on her, okay, and she will not radiate any evil. Yeah, that's good. But it pays to be paranoid. God. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, you we'll walk with her. the woman. Yeah. It's a, a chill journey with her. She takes you up the little creek uh, and heads along it. How closely... Uh, how do we say? Um, You've cast Detect Evil and she's not evil. Are you like stalking behind her carefully ready to stab her in the back are you not at all wall following like 50 feet behind or is this just when like I a regular evil, it's chilling? like a regular like walk how i'd walk with my party members at this point Got it. all right so everyone's just kind of cruising together yeah we're alert because like there are goblins and it is a wood right but right. i'm not really i'm honestly not worried okay. about her so if cool. she did attack me it would be a surprise but. perfect because the way i might describe her would change depending on your caution with yeah her, you know what i mean yeah all right uh, she brings you up the stream, following it for a little ways, and then uh, stops and looks at something on the ground and looks back towards you guys and makes like a shh motion and uh, like a, a wait here hand gesture and begins to okay. creep forward um, up the creek by herself. I like to jab and I ask him to go with her. I'll move silently. What is your chance to move silently, Jeb? Uh, it's it's pretty decent. It is level three. I didn't shout it. Move silently. Two seven percent. Because I have no armor on right now. Two seven. Give us that D one hundred. Two seven or lower. Oh, yeah. Get your nat ones out of the way here. Yep. Seriously though. Ooh, so close. Okay. Perception and like check. two levels. That would have been good. Yeah. So you start creeping after her, uh, trying to move quietly. She gets, well, she doesn't go that far because she's kind of also creeping quietly or doing her best to. Uh, so you will see her sort of like go around a bend and you will catch up with her around that bend. And you will see that she has stopped near a camp of tents and a, a little campfire and there's a log and she has sort of walked up to this section uh, and is talking to a few people there. People? Humans. Hmm. Shit, I can't understand what they're saying, can I? Uh, not at this distance, and probably, unless they're speaking Drakissi, uh, Mistrian, which would be yeah. weird. So I'll, like, look at it. How many, roughly how many people do I see? Five. Including her or not including her? Yeah, including her. Roughly. I'll wait, see what uh, happens. Do they have any weapons on them? 
Uh, they are, yeah. You can see shields and uh, spears lying around. Armor? Not really. Uh, but at this point, while you're making these calculations and judging what's going on, she points back your way. They get up and grab their weapons and shields and start coming I'm in her direction. Right off. Uh, you so, fuck right off. Like I see them like pick up their weapons, start walking this way, mm -hmm. and I'll just uh, I'll yeah. shimmy my way back. Guys, we've been set up. There's uh, approximately five men coming our way with weapons, uh, shields. All right. Uh, I will quickly uh, look around and see, is there anywhere we can, like, hide? Yeah, you're in a, the woods. There's cover. Let's hide and see if we can get a surprise attack on them. Quick. Yeah. Don't All jump right. behind a tree not too far idea. away. The yeah. party scatters hmm. into small bushes and trees and uh, cover all over the place. And sure enough, she starts to, she leads the way back. And when she comes into view, she is by herself. And she stops and looks around where she left you confused and then she calls out quietly Abner Mr. Dwarf Oh wait Got an Abner? arrow knocked Mr. Dwarf He looks around a little confused and surprised Um and let's give her a check See, you all went into hiding. She's now searching for you. So now we need to make some sort of hiding checks. Uh, and I will have a roll for you to make if you can give me just one second to figure out what it is. Yeah. And she's searching alone. She's not bringing her fellow people to like to come up and search, right? She is by herself. Interesting. Uh, so we are gonna have two, seven, seven. Okay, so I need you to roll me a hide check. So this is gonna be a little bit of math here. All right, ready? You're yep. going to add your dexterity and your perception and divide by three, and then you're gonna add seven to that. And that is the roll that you are making. 16 divided by three plus seven, right? Yeah, uh, you round down. So that'll be five, five. plus seven is 12. So plus 12, one d 20. Plus 12, yeah, that is gonna be your hide check. I need a We're good adding, goal. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Dex and perception divide by and two. And then you add seven? Or three, divide not, by three and the, add seven. No, yeah. Not the bonuses, but the raw the stat? The raw stat. Okay, okay, okay gotcha. So. It's way better for me to do this than it is to fucking roll my hide and shadows. Yeah, hide and shadows is gonna work a little bit differently than this hide check. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, what is your hide and shadows right now? Divide by three. It's two zero percent. Two zero. Okay. Hide and shadows is going to be a little bit stronger. Um, okay. But uh, and also more reactionary. This is like hiding in cover as opposed to hiding in shadows, which are. Okay. Distinct. I'll take this then. Okay, so we get 32, 27, 24. Um, how's that calculation coming out? Uh, good. Oh, did he? The, the Vaughn calculation is... I think he might have DC'd. Vaughn, you've got 14 perception. Uh, what's your... Oh, I think he DC'd. Yeah. Uh, he was mad. Uh, he's if he's be... 14, 16, that's 10, so he's going to roll a 17. Yeah, I'll roll it for him. R slash 1D 20 plus 17. 29. Fantastic. She cannot find you guys. Uh, so she risks a louder call. Ebner! We stay oh hidden, goodness. I'd hope. Yeah. Uh, all the cams are broken now. Well, well no. I guess in this time while we wait, I can tell you why. We can go into why I'm suspicious of her if you're curious. Yeah, tell me why you're suspicious of her. So she said that she doesn't see people out here ever. Um, mm -hmm. She sees nobody. And then I remark that, oh, well, you see goblins. And she's like, oh, well, they're nobody. Um, but goblins are like a something. She sounded pretty that she runs into them like a lot, that she would come up to me and say that there are goblins. And now that she's came up to five other people, um, that doesn't seem like nobody to me. They had weapons and stuff. So for the most part, I don't think that she's evil. I do think that she's probably just an opportunistic, like bandit type person who is trying to get like the run on some people. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, he's back. Hello. Good. He's Hi. back. Sorry. He's back. Jeez. Sorry, guys. I don't. You're fine. I don't know. You know what? It it's fine. We were all internet issues. Yeah, you passed your check. It's all good. 
Oh, neat. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Shit. 17. Oh, 17 was right. Okay, good. Perfect. I yeah. was about to do that. I was just about to do that, and then it fucking died. Okay. Well, uh, she is calling out Ebner's name now. You guys can all understand it, because it's the same in all languages. Ebner. Uh, Ebner! Ebner! I stay hidden. She puts her hands up in the air, and after a minute or so, uh, heads back in the other direction. Uh, and you can see her, like, hands in the air with shrugging motion and shaking of her head. And she goes back and around the bend, and she's gone from sight. No one else has shown up. All right. I'm going to try and follow her and see what's going on. Okay. Right. Now, this is where I would like your hide in shadows. It may come into play. It may not, but I want you to roll it ahead of time just so I'll have a roll on hand if I need it. No. Perfect. I'm not going to be able to pass this reliably until, like, goddamn uh, level... Fifth, sixth? Nine. We'll, Nine. we'll have yeah. a five, six percent chance to hide in shadows. Yeah. That'd be tough. All right. Uh, you stalk after her. You come to the edge of the bend, and you can see that she has walked up to this group of people. There, she's talking to a woman who is wearing, like, a, a chainmail shirt uh, with some leather uh, limbs has a, a big shield and a, a battle axe in hand. Well, among her, uh, next to her are three spearmen and two bowmen uh, mixed between men and women. They chat God, for a moment. I wish I could. Yeah. Uh, I'm and then... gonna walk, like I see them walking back, uh, or I see I see her talking with those. I'll walk back, and I'll just kind of whisper to Jeremy, all right, boys, here's what we're dealing with. One lady with a chainmail shirt. She's got a battle axe and a shield. We got three spearmen and three bowmen, or two bowmen, excuse me, and then mushroom lady. Well, this, this is gonna be a tough fight because they, they hung they back. They have chain. Bandits have chainmail. One of them does. Everyone else just had like leather, right? Neil. Yes, uh, leather limbs actually. Well, not she even had leather a armor. Chain, she had a chain shirt. And that things. But well. the, point, the point is, there are six of them, four of us, and the lady. I think we've been had, and well. at the most, I think we hide here until they give up. Or well, we, we hide here and we can surprise them, maybe, because if the bows and archers come near, I feel like that'd be a big um, disadvantage for them, and I have light darkness uh, i can give someone strength to stone which i'm not really sure what it does but uh you i think uh, that would be hmm, if i was up there with you that'd be i don't know joker might do well with that i don't i don't know how much you how much stronger you can make fall but i can't I, i'm gonna go back spine on them all right and i'm gonna well maybe you take turn around you. maybe hope you that in this saying. like minute that I've been talking to them that they haven't showed up behind my back and it's just like well fuck. Um, Do you want me to go with you? Maybe I can hear what they're saying. Can you I, move quietly enough? I would say as a dwarf my legs are close to the ground so on average I could be quieter. Being quiet has nothing to do with the length of your legs. Bet. <laughs> you can't argue with that logic though. He's closer to the ground so he's quieter. Yeah. That's, that's he's exactly closer to the ground. Like closer, man. I have that less doesn't weight. stop him from fucking jangling. I have less <laughs> weight to make noise on the ground. That's what I'm <laughs> I have no coins. <laughs> I can make less noise, but my perception to hear is mighty low. Yeah, I know. Might just not be worth it. Well, I mean, I think hearing what they're saying could be good. I mean, it's kind it's of it's try. oh we make sure that the bandits before we just go start hitting on people i don't want to just murder some some folks in the woods for no reason I that agree. would be awful bad let's go the check them out and yeah i'll you walk with make sure uh, uh mr edna let's be a little bit ways apart so that way in case one of us has seen the other there's a fuck yeah you go first or i can go first whatever you want i'll i'll go first i'll lead the way wait since i know like, I'm pretty sure I've yeah. picked out a decent spot that's easy to hide from them at this point, gone over there twice. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Uh, so you come back around the bend uh, to see where they are, to see this group. And I will need you to make me 
a perception check. You are sneaking. You got to beat their perception checks to not be seen as well. You can spot them. He needs a perception check. So you're coming around the corner. And when you look around the corner, you see them coming towards you. So if you can beat their perception check, you will spot them before they spot you. And if you don't beat their right, perception so check, I'm... they'll see you before you see them. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because you've got the like nice sneaking angle on them. Uh, ooh, they roll terribly. So oh my I. god, you roll terribly too. They rolled a two on the die. I actually have to roll this person's um, perception. Yeah. The thing is, I have high bandits perception. Three six down the line. I was just gonna roll 3d6 to beat this yeah. uh, 16. So they need to Zero roll two. a 15 14. to beat you. Yeah, they need to roll a 14. Six, two, and two is a 10. So you spot them. They are coming down the creek in your direction. Weapons held? Uh, weapons in hand, yeah. Hand. I'll immediately just like turn around and- Ebner will go wreck to his tree that he got a 20 on. Yep. His perfect hiding position. Yep. And I'll uh, hunker down behind a bush. All right, you hunker down behind a bush. These warrior-like people start coming down the creek towards you. If I do this thing. Voila. Um, so I'm gonna bring you to a map and we're gonna quickly hide you on the map. Uh, let me just hide everything else. Bring you guys to this. The battle map, right? Yeah. So you, well, it doesn't have to be a battle, right? You don't have to fight them. You can just let them walk away or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Ebner, Joker, Jebediah, Vaughn. So you guys had quickly hidden somewhere. Uh, uh, Jebediah's gotta be the one furthest this way. Cause it's this corner right here that he's looking around. So you guys oh, have okay. to be uh, somewhere back over, somewhere where you wouldn't have sight around that corner. Yeah, yeah. And then Jebediah's gotta be the closest one to the enemy. Yeah, so they're over here, you said, yeah? Uh, no, they're coming down the creek, like uh, this way. Oh, down the creek? Yeah. Then... So you're probably like up here in a bush, like you said? Yeah. So you're like well, behind this big rock, right? Yeah, that was my good spot. Yeah. You're hiding in the bushes. You're up on this ledge in the tree, behind the tree. Behind yeah, the like tree. That. Behind the tree. Perfect. Okay. I just didn't know which was ledge, where yeah. the trunk was. I couldn't quite tell. Perfect. That's totally understandable. Uh, okay, coming down the creek are these five people. Spoken six. Six. Six people. Seven people. Six people. Uh, six and... people. Seven, including. Mushroom Lady. Yeah, except Mushroom Lady's not here. Uh, they were coming back, and Mushroom Lady hasn't shown up. And they they take their time. They come around the bend. They move so that there's people on either side of the river, but no one's actually walking through it. They keep their archers sort of farther back behind everyone else. I will... Whoa, chill. Hold on, I'm casting. You're casting? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna cast light on this person's okay. eyes. I need you to give me a perception check because if they can see them, you, if you can see them, they can see you. If you can beat your check, you can get your action off before them. Oh. So give me a perception check, buddy. Why did I choose this as the dumb stat? That's a great question. But I got it. Oof. Uh, let me see. Hmm. I see that you're doing it to the person on the far right. Yeah, I was trying to do it when she was, like, here, but then you kept moving them, mm -hmm. you know? Right. right, well, she will see the dwarf poking his head around the rock, point at you and shout in Eridonian, there's the dwarf! And I think that will be an initiative roll across the board, because she cannot Wait, did I get mine react. off, because I got 21? Nope, she got a 24. Oh. She beat you. So we will roll initiative. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, what is casting light? Select my little duder. So nice. I'm a good player. All right, 
Let's roll the initiatives. Yes, sir. They are bandits. Dang it. Hmm. We played it well, though. Well, of course they're bandits. I wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, of course they're titled bandits. I wouldn't. Uh, how do you say? <laughs> of course they're bandits. Give them a, a oh. title of like innocent civilians walking peacefully through the woods. Yeah. They're gonna a have a guard or something. Over. I don't know. It's true. Yeah, you would, Neil. You'd totally do that. You'd try to high horse us. Well, I would see, tell you just an innocent fact, civilian, but, but not during the moment. I wouldn't say that they're innocent civilians in the. Although that might be a nice approach to take. I think future games will just have everyone have names like that. Innocent civilian one, innocent civilian two. Mm -hmm. As goblins run out of the forest after you. <laughs> they're just innocent civilians. Shut the fuck up, Neil. The goblins they attack first. They're innocent civilians. <laughs> yeah. You're just trying to take XP away from us, and you know it. All right. Uh, oh, sorry, I have to change their names now. Uh huh. <laughs> innocent man. Perfect. All right. Ascending order. Innocent man goes first. <laughs> That's impossible. There's no way he can roll a four. Uh, you not might be right. Did I D twenty plus three? That's not the roll for Sharpo. Nope. It's a plus four. Well, I guess he goes at five then. Good catch. You can go at five, Sit innocent it. man. Mainly and because you can go at 11, innocent man. I want a man. plus four. All right. So this guy uh, takes a turn, does nothing. Jebediah's turn. Ooh. Wait, he did um, absolutely nothing? Did he wreck his bow? Nothing? You, he just you, stood there? He's I taking his turn. Uh, if you will creep forward. Yeah, you're in a position where you're hiding, right? So... Yeah. Stand up, walk forward, get a, a view over the ledge, and you can see him. I mean, how tall is this ledge, Neil? Not super tall. I get, yes. You're hiding behind a bush, so if you, I think if you stand or if you step forward at all, you'll be fine. Or I just peek my head. I don't need to stand. To like fire a, a bow, you need to stand. I agree to fire the bow, yeah. but I'm saying, like, for the initial, I have vision Oh, sure. Up, right? Yeah, you can peer around. Yeah, yeah. Is he, does he have an arrow knocked? Yes, he does but he does nothing. Like he doesn't like draw it or anything. He has a, an arrow knocked and ready. Totally. Uh, yeah, I'll wait until he draws it back to fire and then I'll fire at him. All right. Uh, this person over here, the supposed leader. Innocent <laughs> man. Uh, is going to come over to here and over to here. That's only 55 feet of movement sees the dwarf and uh, will walk towards you, dwarf. Weapon drawn, so that will be 85 feet of movement total. Uh, she can go 120 feet and still make an attack. So she walks up to the dwarf, axe in hand, and says, hello, cleric, and swings the axe at you with a 19 to hit. It will hit. It will hit. <laughs> you will take... Uh six damage as it cuts through your armor and into your flesh. Are you currently casting a spell, Ebner? I would be casting light, correct? Oh my god, your light spell is interrupted, ruined. Does that mean I still get to uh, attack that round at the it end? It means no? if you go, if you wait until the very end of the round, you can get an attack or an action. Oh, could I get another spell off at the very end of the round? No, okay. your spell has been interrupted. Awesome, I'll attack You're not even in the initiative order. Oh my god, it's fine. I'll we'll add band. you to the end. Excellent. Uh, that is her turn. Next up is other innocent man, who's just currently presently called a bandit for no reason, who will come over here to the other side of Ebner and stab at you with a spear, <gasps> scoring a natural 20, modified 21. And I do believe that will clear your AC by five, so she will critical you with a spear. She just stabs it down the back of your neck, man. This is not a good situation for you. Yeah, it's not. No, it's not a good start. So, Neil. Sir. Considering that I, I was waiting for this guy to basically make an attack action, but mm -hmm. these guys have made attack actions mm -hmm. on Ebner, can I just say, yeah, that's it. I'm fucking just attacking these guys. That's fine. Or attacking whoever. Yeah. Yep. Archer okay. is getting fucked. 
So Ebner, you will take six and six for 12 more points of damage when you get crit criticaled by the spear. Um, okay. Actually, I should have lied, that's a lie. You can choose to take extra damage or roll on the fun table of critical hit effects, which could um, do great and terrible things to you. The crit hit fun table. table, baby. Fun table time? All right. Fun table. Fun table. I love fun it. Fun table. table. Since I rolled this so as fun. 4d4 instead of two groups of 2d4, I'm just going to re-roll the damage because I don't know which two belong with which. Oh, look at that. It's going to be six damage anyway. All right. Roll Great. me a 1d10 for the location there, Ebner. And uh, are dwarves medium or small? I do believe they're medium. medium. Six. Yeah, that's forehead. a good number, I think. Unfortunate. I think that's left arm. Like, six I think it's right in the dicks. Six in the dicks. Uh, six is the torso. Oh, and fun. I Not shall wrong. roll for the severity. It's going to be a, a 2d4, I believe. Actually, why don't you roll it, Ebner? Roll me a 2d4 and roll high. Roll me an eight. Roll you a four. All right, your torso Mild is gas. grazed, and you have minor bleeding. Now, this is the problem, because torso grazed is such a a broad A minor term. issue. Because grazed just says this sort of injury won't heal until X amount of time has passed. But then there's no effects that stuck with it, so it doesn't really mean anything. It's fine. It's the low no rolls, damage. man. Beautiful. All right, that'll be fine for now. That'll be fine. What you do take I take? A six. You take oh. the six. Your torso is grazed. You have minor bleeding, which means every ten minutes you take one d two points of damage. It'll be gone. Yeah. Uh, and that was that bandit's turn, and now it is Vaughn's turn from the bushes. I uh, Neil, what okay. about? Oh yeah, take a shot. I forgot. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I rolled a twenty-one. On you this guy over here. will crit. You clear by 10. He has no armor whatsoever. Perfect. Wait, can he do the crit table for the guy or no? Uh, uh, yeah, I gotta take I will, the damage. I'll okay. let the, the character, this guy, take the, the crit table instead. I want the this damage, goes. especially for all uh, six. He wants the crit table. <laughs> I want the damage. <laughs> he wants the crit table. Notice how I just said I want the damage, especially if I roll six. And what did I roll? Four fucking six. Yeah. Well, so. he wants the crit table. So, Unfortunately for you, Neil, I want. If the defender gets to choose. That's unless you want the attacker to choose. The yeah, fun table that's what was I not thought. looking so fun anymore. <laughs> fun yeah, table. boys, this is what you get for not being a man and taking the damage. <laughs> <laughs> two minute, fast forward, two minute, or go back to. You minutes, don't know. Yeah. You get the crit table. Take the crit table. <laughs> He's gonna be roll a ten and he'll take it to the face, man. All right, take more damage. Give me It'll be a fun. D ten for location and a two D four for severity because an arrow counts as a medium weapon since it's fired from a bow. Five. Five is the seven, abdomen. Two D four for uh, severity. Shit, that's the wrong one. Wait. Well, that's still within two D four. Uh, it's fine. No, I want to roll two D four. Abdomen grazed, minor bleeding. Abdomen grazed, minor bleeding. All right. <laughs> Uh, and you did one point of damage. This is your guys' fault, I want you to know. <laughs> His abdomen's grazed, bro. <laughs> All right, Joka, it's we your did turn. Hit a little bit. Uh, Vaughn, Which first, one did you hit? Uh, oh, yeah. Bowman. Well, it was it, it was one. me beforehand. Uh, oh, yeah, you put me to the bottom when... Oh, I'm okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm so, so sorry, it should be, it should be It's me your next. turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Gotcha. Okay, well, uh, when I see... Uh, yeah. Uh, when I see Ebner getting attacked, I immediately charge out of the bushes. Excellent. And, and that's when this guy after... releases his shot as soon as someone comes into full view. Yeah. That's and he fine. will that's take fine. a bow fine. shot at you with a five to hit. That's it fine. whistles over your ear and into the Wait, trees no. behind you. Sent it critical, Neil. Do you think that the guy <laughs> would have dropped his notched arrow? No. <laughs> All right. Just checking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go for it, Vaughn. Uh, all right, so, yeah, I charge up to the one attacking Ebner from the back, and I attempt to smite him with everything that I have in a charge. Bring your smite. Uh, yeah. And Ebner, make sure Attacks. you mark off the spell slot. 20 is a hit. Yeah, uh, your sledgehammer collides with this person's body. Or how much and damage? 
15 damage. You just hit him square in the chest. The sternum breaks in. The ribs crack out in the wrong direction. The whole person just like crumples into a ball and hits the ground like a nice. sack of potatoes. <laughs> One of the nice. other nearby guards calls out, Sarah! As a joker, guards, Which innocent people, innocent bandits, people. whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Uh, I run over here and then I charge over him. Run up behind, behind, behind her. Run up behind her. Run up behind her. Oh, behind her. Well, no, I, mm, I don't want to jump off the cliff. How far is the yeah. cliff? That's ten feet. Ten feet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't. Besides, do you want to charge, right? So you need like thirty yeah. feet of good straight. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. Make me your attack roll. Right? Yeah. No. <laughs> not a... The wood axe goes wildly overhead and rests back in your own hands. The other innocent archer. Uh, will take a shot at Vaughn as well with a 16 to hit. The arrow oh, my hits AC you in your side. 16, it yeah. is a broadhead arrow. It finds its way between your, your two ribs for four damage. Is your dex your my 16? 16. 16. Your, uh, my dex is 16 and, and I've studied leather yep. armor. Yep, so close. Yeah. Yep. All right, you take four damage from the arrow. Four and right, the cool. next bandit goes. She's gonna come over here, and and she's gonna do a maneuver like that, creeping around the back of Vaughn. So he is pincered between these two, and will attack from behind with a six, seven, eight, nine as a miss, leaving us with the last uh, bandit yeah, to go. Uh, the last bandit. Last bandit's going after the dwarf. Uh, comes over here, cover? slips over here, turns his back to Joka for a moment because she's confident she's going to kill a dwarf. And natural 19 plus one is 20 versus oh, your 16. 16 is not going to crit you. How unfortunate. It's not unfortunate. For three and one, four damage to you. Okay. Uh, the dwarf is not dead and she will sort of turn to face Joka, leaving the dwarf uh, wounded behind her. And it's finally Ebner's turn. All right, I am going to, not much I can do. Uh, I guess I'm gonna stab the person in front of me. All right, with spear. Or a spear, yeah. <laughs> you stab her in the back. She turned her back to you. You will critical hit her. She will also take the table instead of the damage. Uh, wouldn't um, that be a double crit? Uh, she has AC 14. Okay, that's great. Uh, but she doesn't have her shield in front of her. Her So she doesn't get shield. So I do believe that will double crit. So, so she will take, uh, you're going to do double damage and then also a crit chance. I think so the, the crit table will just replace one damage worth of damage. So you'll do 40, 44 and then the crit table. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's the wrong side. Four to 44 is not quite right. <laughs> That you were right. really 40, shitty. 40, 40. That's that. really well. Yeah, that's terrible for 4D44. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. <laughs> that's actually you should real be bad. ashamed of that, yeah. bro. All right, Sorry, no, it doesn't matter the crit table because she only has nine HP. So she goes down as your swords, your spear runs her through and out the other side. Bro, you just went to prom in a tuxedo t-shirt there. <laughs> All right. On purpose. Archers get second <laughs> shots. Uh, this one over here will fire at Vaughn again. A 9-10 to hit you, Vaughn. Is no good. Mm, Jeb, you're no. shooting at who? I was shooting at the same one I shot because 11 apparently... 11 will hit. He... Yep. All right. It's going to take four damage. Four points of damage. Almost kills him. And then the other archer will also fire at Vaughn. The flank bonus. 19 plus 2 is 21. Is that clear by mm -hmm. 5? I believe that clears by 5. All right. Do you want the double damage yeah. or do you want the fun table? Uh, you know what? I don't know why. I'll take the double damage. <gasps> I'll take the double damage. We got a brave man here. Uh, I mean, there's no contract eight. here. I'm, there's no contract here. You, you're probably going to keep using the crit table. <laughs> I, I you was trying take to tempt eight you. damage. To... It's beautiful. All right, eight. All right. Yep. Uh... I'm going to tempt you to play by the honor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll initiative for the next round, everybody. Uh, going to my proper nice. order at the end. Did 
I, I did it right. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, that's how much oh, damage you, you did I last round. Whew. Nice. That's what we really needed, boys. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's it, boys. Is that a cure moderate wounds? Cure moderate wounds. Yep. Right. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Uh, Ebner Two HP incoming. Rolled a six on initiative. How'd you do that, buddy? A one All plus right. a five. Yeah, clearly. Uh, Ready Ebner. for my heal. You go first. Are you casting 11. a spell? Yep. Holy cure moderate wounds myself. Damn, son. 16 HP. I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. I will look at the lady and I'll smile. You messed with the wrong cleric today. And then while he's doing that, I'll come over here, uh, get a nice flanking shot on her. Yep. At uh, this lady right Ooh. here. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Uh, Beautiful. Let's see. Her armor will no give shield. her AC 14. She, yeah, no shield. It's on the wrong side. It's on the wrong side. Uh, that'll give her AC 14, so you will clear by 11. So give me double damage um, and a roll and on the, the table. fun table. Fun table, I Holy believe. shit, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, give me a uh, 2d4 and a 1d10. So it's Four. right in the eight. I do believe the eight is the torso. Wait a minute, hold on, it's for slashing. Uh, six was the torso, I don't know. You're seeing, yeah, it depends on the, there's a bunch of tables here. Yeah. On this table, an eight is the left arm, and a five is arm struck, shield or, uh, shield damage, weapon dropped. And you, I'm gonna say you hit her right arm because that, well, it does yeah. say left arm. It so I guess you shoot left. across her body and into her arm. And is that arm shield struck, damaged? shield damaged, weapon dropped, minor bleeding. So I'm gonna say she can only use her shield at half strength right now because that arm is so like badly wounded. Yeah. Uh, instead of getting an AC bonus of three from it, she'll get an AC bonus of one, reducing her AC to 15 temporarily. You're welcome, boys. And my minor bleeding should be gone, right? Because of magical yes, bullshit? Yes, because yeah. you've taken magic healing. All right, uh, that is a dead bandit. And this is an innocent man who will take another shot at Callum. Still so exposed with a four to hit. The other archer will shoot Vaughn with a five to hit because Callum's not here. And it's Vaughn's turn again. <laughs> Callum's always very exposed. He's dodging, dodging from the grave. Um, all right, <laughs> got I am total going cover to- from the earth in around him. In an earth, yeah. <laughs> six feet under, six, six feet under AC bonus. Uh, okay, I am going to- <laughs> I'm going to charge this one and attempt to hit it. Alrighty. Uh, oh, I got to make sure. I got to be careful with when I say charge, right? Because charge means I take a minus exactly. one. Right. Or two. And you, well, need you also it. just don't have enough movement there. Yeah, too. you need at least 30 feet to charge. Uh, so. Oh, I got you. All right, no, no charging then. Uh, I'll just run up to the student, Ooh. hit him the old-fashioned way. Perfect. The way, the way mom used to do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you roll a nine on me last time, Neil? A nine? To yeah, hit well, you? the person you got the back attack? Yeah, I think you did, didn't you? Yes, I did. Then that would have hit because of my charge. I forgot to take my AC penalty. I don't think oh. I would have done it. I'll take Ooh. my damage. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The uh, you will take 2d4. You take two points of damage. The dice were kind to you for being so honest. <laughs> no. They're a nice dice. They're okay, a nice uh, dice. 11 is going miss. to be a miss. Oh, she brings her uh, yep. shield up, knocks it to the side, deflects the blow. The bandit leader now is uh, not in great situation. The dwarf is apparently self-healing, which is not really anyone's happiness here. And so she will continue to square off with Joka, swinging at you with a battle ax. Uh, that's gonna be a 15 to hit. Oh yeah. The that axe clears by five, but it's not a crit probably. No, it's not a crit. It's only a natural less than 18. Yeah. Uh, she'll okay. hit you for six damage with the battle ax. I will say to Joka, don't kill her, just knock her out. We're taking her to Grace. And it becomes Joka's turn. Well, he said knock her out, so I'll do non-lethal, but I'll do damage. I'll hit it with the back side of my axe to her head to try to just club her down. The back of your axe to her head? Yep, that absolutely. That big piece of metal to her head to knock her unconscious? You absolutely. sure it's not gonna bust her brain open? No, nah, it'll be okay. fine. Cool. It'll be fine. Give me a roll to hit. 15, which I think that, is her AC. That is her AC now that her arm has been uh, wounded. It's only yes. a seven. Uh, the 
the axe comes up, the backside hits the shield, it slides off of it and slams straight into the top of her mohawked head, and she hits the water and falls down with a splash. Wait, 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 wait. Did you roll a 15 to hit? Yeah. Oh, that was I a rolled... D10. That is a D10. Plus eight. <laughs> and then you roll a D20 plus three wait. for damage. Wait. So 14, so it wouldn't. My bad. All right. So the 14 <laughs> hits. Can you? I'm all drinking here. Oh, like, come on. Thank you. Can you roll me some, hey, man. some new damage here? Hold on. Hold on. Let me add I some mean, HP. Technically, so did I. Please roll me damage with your wood axe now. Uh, 14 will hit, will it? It will hit because 14 your will not hit. Fucked. Oh, correct. Right. Okay, perfect. Wait, 14 doesn't hit even with your shield? 14 does thing? not. No, 17. Yeah, 15. AC 17 normally, down to 15 because of the injured arm. Thanks. All right. Lovely. Uh, next, that's a dead bandit. I'm sorry, guys. It's this awesome. one back here. Uh, Joka is less armored, but has more HP. Is that the one we really want to be fighting? Callum has a uh, armor, but is so close to dead. What do we do here? I think we're gonna still go after Joka. Uh, go for those easy stabs Let's rather than those critical stabs. Uh, 10 plus two is gonna be a 12 and hit you yep. for 2d4 damage. Four and two is six. You're getting low. And now second shots with bows. Available. Um, and I do believe Jeb goes first with his second shot. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I'll, sh I'll shoot her again. I'll miss. Ooh, Arrow flies way past. Both of these people, well, they're gonna have harder times getting shots on. Oh no, here's a clear line of sight to Callum. And this one definitely has line of sight to Callum. So first one on the left with no penalties to hit. Uh, seven, eight, it's... nine, 10 is not gonna hit. And this 14. one over here. Uh, ooh. Shoots his ally. She's gonna shoot yep. for Callum. She's gonna shoot for Callum. Uh, I think Callum's gonna have maybe like a plus one AC to cover for this shot. It's not a, there's like, you're kind of clipping through some corners here, but okay. a natural 18 is gonna hit you nonetheless. Uh, that's an 18, 19, 20, 21 against your AC of 17. Except you don't get your dex because it's wow. from the back. What's your AC without your dex from the behind? Uh, 14. 14. 14 normally plus one, which would be 15 if you're saying it's a difficult shot. So yeah, 15. 15. And sh they roll, so they will crit you from behind. Perfect. Perfect. Crit table. What do you want, Callum? Crit table. All right. Crit so table. you will just take a flat two damage. Give me a D10 and a 2D4. All right. Shake your uh, leg, boys. Shake your leg. Okay, a D10. <laughs> it's, a, it's an old meme there, Connor, and but it checks. I posted that picture last time we did this too, Neil. <laughs> uh, you will get shot in the torso. And the torso you don't have a shield, so that doesn't affect you. But the torso was struck. You were at two thirds movement and minor bleeding. So you can only move at 66% until your your wound, your struck wound is healed and it will heal. And how much? As if it were a loss of 2d6 hit points. So we'll, we'll deal with it later. Um, we get okay. our second attack. How much attack flat damage? Uh, two, two flat. Two, okay, yep. right, cool. So not eight. You should get we, your second attack, right? Yeah, we both get our second yeah. attacks this round. Uh, oh yes, as do the, the does this lady. So Ooh. Joka, did you go? You went after her. Yeah, I okay, got the so end, basically. She will attack you first because she gets her second attack before yours. Uh, fourteen plus two is sixteen. Yep. Will hit for eight and two is ten damage. Oh, it's a grievous wound. Her battle axe goes up in between your legs and just chunks you in your thigh. Luckily, it misses the artery and you don't bleed out on the spot. We're gonna try to hit her with the back of the wood axe again, this ridiculous lady. We're gonna roll a d20 for a 13, which isn't gonna do anything. So nope. we're just gonna go back to doing nothing. Nope, shit, hits her chain mail in a grazing blow as she limps around in the water. I think a little bit of 
blood has leapt into the stream by now. Except it should not be purple blood. Not the color of blood, guys. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Should Long. I make my attack now? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I'm yes. Gonna attack the... Second attack. Yeah. Right. I'm going to attack the same one that I attempted to before, mm -hmm. the one that's right in front of me. Yep. And... Oh, God. Damn it's it. not working. Jeez. <sighs> Joker right. is getting low on the HP. Can he survive another round? Oh, yeah. We got this, I believe. Let's see oh, wow. it. The enemy oh, has rolled initiative. initiative. Oh. Uh, I have not. Party is wow. rolling. Tens. Ten, 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 ten. ten. You're in tens. Every time ten. It's like a... Did we get a Edna initiative? Fourteen. I rolled it a little bit early, but if you want me to re-roll it, I can. Uh, no, no, no. I just got to get it changed on the uh, initiative order. All right, Archer goes first. Of course. Uh, this guy was the same. This one that critical you last round, so he's gonna take another shot at your back. An 11, 12 for proficiency, plus two is a 14 for back attack, and I believe that is your AC from behind. Yep, yep. You will take six points of damage as the arrow lodges itself in the back of your leg, and your knee starts to give out. Jebediah. Yep. All right, I've had enough of that guy. It's time to die. Ooh, what that's... are you doing, Jeb? Same uh... person? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I was attacking a boss lady, but I do not have flank on this guy, correct? Or do correct. I? Correct. No flank. Oh. I rolled exactly my initiative. No good. Uh, next innocent man will also take a shot at Callum. From the grave. Well, that's why he misses with a uh, an eight. Does not hit Callum nor Vaughn. No intended targets here. <laughs> Sorry, Callum, All right, guys, you need to start rolling well. For Vaughn, the it's fucking right. level gun. your turn, buddy. I did, but Neil said that they wanted to roll from the fucking table. Yeah, that's true. All right, yeah. I'm gonna hit the one in front of me again. <laughs> oh, Wait. yeah, oh, you will. That right. will clear by five. You will crit this person. Go ahead and roll double damage. There's one damage. Them. There's one There's more two time. damage. So, 13? Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Did I roll that wrong? Did uh, I roll that wrong? Yeah, it should have just been two D10 plus five. So we'll do my six bad, and bad. two and my five. Is it's all good. 13 is more than their 10 HP. And they drop. My bad, sorry. Okay, all right. fine. beautiful. Uh, they were gonna go next, but they are gone now. So it is Ebner's turn. Right before they can kill Joka. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up and heal Joka for 1d10 plus uh, one. 10 AC, they only needed to roll a seven to hit you, Joka. Yeah, it was right. beautiful. Uh, Ebner Ooh. steps forward and drops down the big <laughs> heels. Holy shit. Ebner's Stay been lucky. fucking money today. Two healing, man. max heals. Big, big boy heals. Uh, the big bandit boy. leader looks to the dwarf, so frustrated because she had just bare, almost gotten Joka down, and and here he is back at like half HP. This is the second time she's almost got one of them down. Yeah. And Edner's just like, nope, plus eleven. <laughs> Her entire one. It fixes it back up. Very back. easy. So what's a girl to do when these boys won't die? She dies. Yeah, she's just gonna step to this spot and attack Joke again. Uh, nine plus two is a yeah. 11 is gonna hit. Four, four and two is six damage. She is a battle axe specialist. Joka, it's your That's turn. why we're gonna oh, knock man. her out and she's gonna teach us. <laughs> All right, back of the hammer again <laughs> with the beautiful attack roll of 22. That'll oh, do it. Shit. That'll yeah. crit her. Uh, she goes to block it and it slips across the shield and thwacks her in the head. Give me that sweet, sweet double damage from the back of the uh, battle axe. So I think it's just uh, plus two, right? 
You may have intended to knock her out, but sometimes in the course of a battle, you do 21 damage with a metal axe to someone's <laughs> head, and, and they die. Well. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Oopsies. Uh, Joker, you weren't shot. supposed to smash your head in. It j she didn't block it at all, man. <laughs> God damn it, Joker. <laughs> She's been blocking everything. She just lets this one through. What's wrong with her? <laughs> damn right, it, now we'll never know what happened. This shot is coming for Joker with a 16 to hit. Yeah. You will take two damage, and this shot is coming for Callum, also known as Vaughn, with a 17, 18, 19, 20 total to hit. Oh, that's gonna um, hit. It will yeah. not crit because yeah, it's natural hit. 17, but it will hit you and do two points of damage. You hit the right. mud. Unconscious. Unconscious. Too but many arrows in the back. It'll be exactly fine. zero. How nice. Jebediah. Yeah. Wait, I have a question. Yes. How does his, cause he has a moderate wound in his chest from the crit yes. table. Yeah. So is he still bleeding yeah. or no? Okay. Yeah. Jebediah. I'm attacking the same dude. You finally hit him again. You crit him, in fact. Give me another 17? D6 in there. Uh, he will die. It clears by 10, he has 10 AC. Oh. These guys are just shitty archers. Yeah. All right, last enemy initiative round. Uh, I'm gonna do a Kiermato wins on the dead guy. Or Callum. Or Vaughn. Vaughn. Oh. No, is this a is this a sheer cliff? Uh Wait. yeah, it's it's not sheer, it's sloped. Okay. Uh, and Wait, there's so this big tree in I, the way. I think the two of you guys are probably at like penalty to shoot at each other with the 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 cliff in the tree and everything. What were you gonna say? I don't roll initiative, right? Nope, you just chill. Okay. Yep. Enjoy. I rolled a twelve actually. Lovely. I'll just change your fourteen to a twelve for you. And it looks like Jeb goes first. What? Oh no, Jeb did first. not change his initiative. It's 15, there we go. Oh, are we supposed to change it? Sorry, I'll fix it. I've been doing not it. normally. It's fine. I normally take care of it for you since if it, if it errors. Uh, and this person Dude, seeing the carnage runs away. Ah, as fast as his legs will carry him upstream. Oh, so, so it slows him down. Yeah. I guess, I mean, it's, it is ankle high water. I would call it difficult terrain. So he'll run upstream until he can get to the other side and flee at uh, max speed. Giving, Vaughn can't do anything. Joka heals a person. No, Ebner heals a person. Joka, what are you doing? Um, Seeing him take off, I, I'm not running him down after my adventures of going up and down to the HP pool. I'm gonna pull okay. the chick whose head I exploded out of the water and pull her onto the land. Okay. I was gonna use my ax, but I think I can change my Yeah. Stuff. Vaughn is healed right. to eight. Vaughn is healed to eight, eight. which will Unless also cover the one. heal of the torso injury, leaving us with just Jebediah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run up here. How far did that guy get? Let's see, if he's doing a proper run, he oh, is- It's only 23 feet away. <laughs> he could run, uh, let's say he's halfway through his movement if he's doing a full run here. So he's at like 60 yards, so 180 feet. Is that with his difficult terrain too? Oh, uh, probably a little bit less than that then. So 180 minus 40, uh, so 120. 140 feet. And you have a long bow or a short bow? I have a short You've bow. You've got a, a hunter's bow, a short bow. Yeah, a short bow. The long so... bow would totally be worth it if it shot D8s. Like that'd be money, yep. but it don't. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's uh, just a minus. Two minus for... two, and then plus two for back attack. It's gonna be a, a zilch. A wash. AC 10, 16 will do it. Ooh. Six in the back. The guy can get to the end of his movement by the time you get your second shot. So he will have been at 120 yards. It's 360 feet. That's a 120 minus uh, 40 feet is 12 80. yards. 80. So that uh, 108 yards and you're, that's long range for you. So minus three on whatever this attack is. So minus one? Uh, no, Does it's it minus back? five and then plus two oh. for minus three total. Oof. One more shot, Jeb. Fucking got him. That will fucking do it. Roll me damage. Bring him up. That'll do it. 
Yeah. The archer falls face first in the woods. Does he make a sound? We don't know. Yes, he does. That's yes, not how does. sound works. He fucking makes a sound. <laughs> and with that, why don't we go to a break and we'll debate the merits of archers falling in the woods making sounds on the other side. Bye. <laughs>